The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Yorktown Heights, New York, Mandy Rose. From Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch.
your winner, Becky Lynch. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Amsterdam, Netherlands. Weighing in at 250 pounds. Well, as I looked at the adjust microphone level for the second time. My mic has been cut because I, I, uh, how you say it? I turned on the mic that's on the wire and I'm commentating, right? But guess what? My voice wasn't been heard, which means that just a moment ago, the adjust microphone level setting was shaded, which means that the microphone is not, you know, supposedly on. But anyway, folks, here we are. So now I gotta rephrase everything again. So here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Monday Night Raw. Now, we already had the opening match of Becky Lynch taking on Mandy Rose. Becky Lynch is the third member of Team Raw with Tony Storm and Nick Cross. So right now we'll be having a men's qualifying match to see who will be the third member for Team Raw. Will it be Alistair Black or will it be this man right here? Yes indeed, you hear it folks. It is the animal, Batista. That's why, folks, it says the animal is back. That's right. He is there, and he is ready to raise some hell. But can we see a mini evolution reunion with Randy Orton and Batista as they team up with Matt Riddle? That's something legendary for Matt Riddle right there. But you never know, no, you never know. Batista can't get hit by that black mess with the one, two, three, and that's it. Fans are still pulling up Batista ever since he fought Roman Reigns. For a world title at uh, a Clash of Champions. I mean, I'm sorry, not Clash of Champions. At uh, SummerSlam, if I'm correct. Oh, no. 
So ladies and gentlemen, we'll be having, oh, a disc and knee struck by Alistair Black. But that did not face Batista. He's still standing. Oh, brain buster. So ladies and gentlemen, we'll be having Drew McIntyre taking on Big E in a non-title match. We'll be having the EST of the WWE, Bianca Miller taking on Mia Yim, the Blizzard Batty. Clothesline, god damn. I guess uh, Mia Yim, whoever wins will be the final member for Team Raw. Congratulations to Becky Lynch to be a part of Team Raw with Tony Storm and Nikki Cross. Oh! And including the main event, whoever takes the final spot for Team Raw, it will be the Mustard Among Men, Braun Strowman, Bullplex, taking on Kevin Owens. So yes, that's what we all gonna have tonight. Can he get that high? Oh no, he was very, very close. Diving elbow drop, but I was a little too far. Look at that close line. Batista is taking over Alistair Black here. Is it possible? Here tonight for Batista to get this win. Yeah, he's going for the pinfall. One, kick out. Oh! And now Batista with another right hand. Kick to the midsection. And now Alistair Black getting obviously to the ropes. And now he's getting obviously to the corner because they're bumping each other, uh, bumped into each other. And now Alistair Black got him. Got the wrist lock. Oh, elbow right to the elbow. Oh! Look, he just did a running super kick. Which one of these two men will be a part of team up with Randy Orton and Matt Riddle? So here we go. Oh! Look at this. That's the black float over DDT. And Batista just pushes him off. Oh boy, look at this. He's going for that jackhammer. Shades of Bill Goldberg. Pinfall. One. No. That does not work on Ash the Black unless it's, unless it's the real Goldberg, folks. And then look at Batista. Trying to go for something, but Ash the Black fought back. Snap me a kick right onto the back of Batista. Going for the pinfall. One. Oh, not even. Not even a one count. Oh, high kick. Right hand. Right to the ribs. I was sure to the ropes. Let's go for a double moon stop. That did not work. Look at this. That military press slam. To Alistair Black. Back first and all. Look at Spine Buster. Holy crap. That has to hurt. That's even worse. Two. No. And Alistair Black kicks out at two. Oh, man. Batista. About to single the end. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Batista Bomb! And you can hear the fair chance for Batista still. One, two, three, no! As the black kicks out a two. Batista cannot believe it. He said that it was a three. It was a damn three. Batista's pissed off. And here we go. Wait a minute. As the black counters it. Float over DDT for the second time and he got it. Oh man. Batista thought it was gonna be over with that Batista bomb, but that did not help. Oh! And Alistair Black with that alley U bomb. Oh uh oh. That's the Black B finishing off people with that sliding running knee strike. Here we go. Oh my God. Knocked it out of the park right there. Cover one, two, and Batista kicks out at two. Very close call for Batista. But he actually kicked out of it. Oh, Black Mass. Cover, can you go for Team Raw here? One, two, and now Batista kicks out again. Oh my god. Here we go, Aston Black. With another clothesline. 
Grabs on Batista's foot. Leg sweep. That's the flex fired up. Uh-oh, he's going for that same corner. He's going to that same corner. Wait a minute, no. He thought about it. I don't know what he's planning on doing here. Oh, that's getting knee strike. Oh, man. This could be over for the animal. This could be over. Here we go. Got it with the knee. Could this be it for Dave Batista? One, two, three. And ladies and gentlemen, Alistair Black is the third member for Team Raw. And yes, indeed, Alistair Black has defeated Batista. And that was definitely fade to black. But ladies and gentlemen, who will be the final two members of Team Raw? of the WWE. So yeah, last week on Monday Night Raw, we had Bobby Lashley calling out the beast Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar, who is a part of SmackDown. And that didn't turn out good enough for Bobby Lashley. Because he shouldn't call it out the beast. Even though, but even though Bobby Lashley is representing Monday Night Raw, which I'm happy for, but I feel sorry for Bobby Lashley. But I hope Bobby Lashley does win and beat the beast. All right, here we go. on Bianca Belair in this singles match. Here we go. Oh, slam it by Bianca and a kick to the back. Oh, back for Yes, indeed. We only got one slot left. One slot left. Oh, man. I standing with the East Gold Buster there. Oh, wait. I think she's going for it again. Wait a minute. No. She's powering it. Showing off the strength. Oh, my goodness. The strength of Bianca. And oh, that hard right hand. I'm probably a form, I can't tell. And look at this. Air Ray spinning net breaker. And now going for another back breaker. Looks like Mia Yim is in trouble here tonight. She's not doing anything. Oh! And Yim takes the power slam. Mia Yim rolls out of the, to the apron. And now Bianca looking just going for another suplex this time, taking her right back in. Oh, that forearm. And now look at this. Look at this. And another one. And now she's going for the pin. One, 
and a kick out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep, yep, that's definitely a forearm. I can see it clearly now. My goodness. Oh, Miriam, she can't take this no more. Oh, wait. She counters it. And now Bianca with another power slam. Jesus Christ. I forgot we got like two powerhouses in the women's division, Nia Jax and Bianca. And look at this for the second time. The power and the strength. Montez Ford is a lucky, lucky man. A lucky man to have a power of a woman on his side. Uh oh. And now Mia counters it into a five match carry slam. Oh, knee strike. And an axe kick right to the back of the head of Bianca. Kick to the midsection. Look like she's going for cold red, aka the sunset flip. But she's not going for the pin. She's not attempting it. it Looks like she is going for the pinfall regularly. And no, look at that. A no count, ladies and gentlemen. And now Mia. Got the legs wrapped around the head. Look at this. Bianca escapes it through very, very easily. And now, oh! Elbow right to the back of the head on Mia. And now they're tussling at each other. Mia, yeah, pushes her. Oh! Spinning hip kick. Uh-oh, Bianca just got up. She's pissed off now. Kick to the midsection. Oh! Give it an alley -oop face buster. And now go for the pin. One, two, three, no! Mia Yim kicks out at two. That was nearly a three for Bianca for that win. And now look at this. Oh, wait, no. Kick to the midsection by Mia. She got it this time. Clothesline at the corner. Look, she closed on him right at the corner, to be honest. And now look at this. Oh! Pulls her off the corner. And she was yanking both feet. Oh, wait. Oh! That looked like a slap. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yep. EST! And she got it! Yeah, it's, it's over, folks. It's over, folks. Wait, she, just, she went for a knee drop. She's not going for a pin. What? Oh, Bianca, you should have at least pinned her. It would have been over right now, to be honest. And now attacking the ribs. Across that midsection there. With that shoulder. And now I'm looking at she's going for it again. Double arm chicken wing. Oh, and a third forearm. Jesus Christ. I'm not gonna lie to you, Bianca is mostly taking care of this match. Oh God. Oh, the slap with the hair. The ponytail. The ponytail hit across Mia. Jesus Christ! Oh wait, Mia Yim fighting back. Snap me a kick to the back. Oh wait, look at that! That clothesline as she grabbed the foot of Mia and a knee strike right across the spine of Yim. And look at Bianca. Bianca knows this is too easy for her. The hell? What the hell she doing? She's at the corner. That's what she's going for. Oh! A spear! That was out of nowhere. Okay. One, two, three. What? Man, you kicked out a two from it. Wow. I'm very surprised. Oh, look at this. Oh, he defeat. Can she get the victory? Going for the pin. One, two, and Bianca kicks out. Bianca kicks out at two. And look at this. Double R chicken wing again. Releasing it for the third time. Look at this. Oh, Mia got up quickly. Gave it to her. They're running her Karana. And look at this, Yim. Yim. Look at that. Giving her her own power and strength with that deadlifting German suplex. 
And here we go. Gut wrench. Kick and miss that. Uh oh, here we go. Protect your neck. Connects to Bianca. Go for the pin. One, two, three. And look like me and Yim is going to be a part of Team Raw. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Blazing Betty will be with the man, the Australian badass, and the female Scottish psychopath. My goodness, folks. And here we go. Our non-title match here tonight. And speaking of Scottish psychopath, ladies and gentlemen, we got the other Scottish psychopath known as the Intercontinental the Champion, Drew McIntyre. has been dominating Raw superstars left and right for that championship that he has in his hand, in his possession here on Monday Night Raw. But I'm letting you know this right now, all the way to Safari Series, Brian. Your boy Cesaro, the newly crowned United States Champion, is no match for the sky to psychopath, Drew McIntyre. Let that be known. Let that be known. That is all. Having Big E In this singles match. What the hell? Well, anyway, here we go. The ball has run. And now Big E. Oh! Damn. That has to hurt. Oh, he's going for the pin. One. And a kick out. Yes, indeed. That one. That one. Oh, now a hard knife is chopped by McIntyre. Big E. Oh! Gives him the overhead belly to belly. Suplex. And now here we go. Drew McIntyre with the Irish whip to Big E. Bumped into each other. Oh! In that big boot. That big boot to Big E. Jesus Christ. And now Big E with the kick to the midsection. Snapmare. 
Back it's higher. Here we go. Go for another Irish whip. And now go for a spot. Oh, no, Biggie hopped up and did a DDT with a reversal. And now the bliss. Oh, and a hit drop right onto the back of the Intercontinental Champion. A former Intercontinental Champion, Big E, taking on the current Intercontinental Champion, Drew McIntyre. So here we go. Big E, look at this. And another one. Two backbreakers. Drew McIntyre. And now Big E with the Irish whip. To the corner there, and now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Drew, hitting him with those elbows and a running shoulder tackle to Big E. So, you know, we got two big men going at each other back and forth. Big E rolls out of the ring, comes right back in. And look at this. Big E, Irish whip, trying to go for a scoop slam, but Drew back is higher. Keeps avoiding everything that Big E's trying to do. Oh, wait, 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 no. And now Big E, this time he got him up. I don't know what he's planning on doing here. Wait a minute, what the hell? Oh, no way, no way! Oh, my goodness! A German superplex, and now he's going for that pin. On oh, Drew, no! And that did not work on Drew McIntyre. That was a one count. That should have been a two count, to be honest. That was a big, big leap to go across the ring like that. Oh, wait, 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 here we go. Overhead, belly to belly, to belly suplex again. And now the Intercontinental Champion has rolled out of the ring, and Biggie mocking. Drew McIntyre. These guys was going back and forth in and out of the ring. Here we go. Oh, then the bill throw. To Big E. And now look at this. Oh! A reverse Cobra clutch. Flatliner. And another. And now Drew McIntyre is mocking, flexing in front of Big E. And here we go, suplex. Sends Big E right back inside. So ladies and gentlemen, we'll be, oh, and a stump right onto the face of Big E. We'll be having our main event. Oh, glasses kiss. One, two, three, and it's over. Well, damn, that was quick. That was quick. So yes, indeed. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Cesaro! Did you notice this champion Cesaro's here on Raw? What the hell? Cesaro with the German? What the heck is Cesaro doing here on Monday Night Raw? Yes, you, McIntyre. Beat him up. Hit him. Oh my goodness, Cesaro. And now he's going for it again. The United States Champion here on Monday Night Raw. This guy needs to, needs to go back on SmackDown. This guy is nuts. I understand that this is to see which brand is better. And look at this in a big boot to Drew McIntyre by Cesaro. And look at Cesaro. And now we are back, and now it is time for the main event. But my God, I can't believe Cesaro, the United States Champion from SmackDown, showed up here on my show. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'll give Brock Lesnar a pass because I didn't expect him to show up on Raw. That wasn't really like an invasion. 
what Cesaro has done was an evasion. He just took the first shot to come out of nowhere to invade my show, Monday Night Raw, to attack my Intercontinental Champion. How dare he? But you know what? He has something coming. He has something coming for later this Friday. Mark my words. But anyway, here we go. This is ridiculous. Cesaro needs to be careful of what he wished for. But it's too late now. Should have stayed on SmackDown. I don't know how the hell you got inside the raw building. Probably, probably sneaked in. Damn bastard. But anyway, here we go. With our final match of the night to see who will be a part of the team. What, will it be Kevin Owens or will it be Braun Strowman? And my pick, I'll say Braun Strowman. Okay. You can hear the fans chanting, kill Owens, kill. Good luck for that one. And oh, look at this. Owens. Oh, wait. Oh, Braun. Elbow strikes right onto the side of the face of Kevin. Look at that. A running shoulder tackle. Oh, my God. And now Braun Sherman, look at this, walked over Kevin. Look at this, Braun, with a suplex release as he slams him down. And now he's carrying him on the shoulders. And now here we go. Oh, gave him the snake eyes. Kevin sitting at the corner at the bottom turnbuckle. And look at that, the stomp right onto Kevin's chest. Uh, he stopped him on his tracks. What the heck is this? Is this a torture rack? Yes, it is. A torture rack. Weakening the back of Kevin. And look at this. Kevin punching his way out. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. The power. Look at this. Oh. He barely could lift him up. And now look at this. A back sent on. By Owens. Oh, wait. I think he's going for it again. Wait a minute. No, he's not. Samoan dropped to Braun. Get to the midsection, and he clubs him right onto the back on Braun. And our knee strike. Well, a knee drop right to the back. And now look at this. Oh, this is German suplex. That's a little surprising there for Kevin. Oh, four. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yep, that did not work. Went for that kick, but he missed it. Kevin. Irish whip. Braun Strowman over the top rope on the apron. And look at this Kevin Owens. Saying this is the Kevin Owens show. And Braun came right back in. Right hand into that knee shot. Got that double X handle right across the back on Owens. Oh, and a hard clothesline. Now let's go for that pinfall. One and a kick out. I'm telling you, oh! Kick to the missile to my Kevin. Ron Shawman, look at this. Oh, he's trying to go for that drop kick. But Owens. Oh man, Owens actually caught him with both feet. And look at this. A Russian leg sweep to Braun. A Havelock Russian leg sweep, that is. And now look at this, and I make you know she's driver. And now a vice grip to Braun Strowman. Uh-oh. He blocks it, look at this. Oh, and a really spine buster. 
Oh man, look like Bonds go for a power bomb. Wait a minute, no, Yazuko Cutter. Uh, look like Kevin Owens is out of this. Maybe he is, maybe he's not, who knows. Go for the pin. One, two, and Kevin Owens kicks out at two. Oh man. Oh man, here we go. Wait a minute. Oh wait, oh God. This is gonna hurt. Ah, oh, reverse choke slam, face first and all. And now he's going for the pin with one hand. One, two, three, I guess. Braun Strowman picks up the victory to be a part of the final member of Team Raw. And yes, indeed, Braun Strowman is the final member for Team Raw, folks. Raw is going to prevail once again in that elimination match.